Hi everyone, I hope you are all having a great week. Heather and I have recorded this video to introduce our next sermon series and to explain why, as a whole leadership team, we believe it is important. When we're looking at the importance of a healthy church culture and what that looks like, this started from a conversation I had with Lisa some time ago, where she was talking about the work that she was doing to help other churches develop a healthy culture. And it seemed like a really good idea, and still does, to explore this on our own church as well. As well as looking at this in talks during Sunday services, uh, jam and engage with our children and young people, we'll be looking at the same themes in age-appropriate ways. We're also providing materials for life groups and families or individuals to reflect on further during the week. We want to do this for a number of reasons. It is always good to look at how we are doing as a culture, recognising that cultural behaviour can be baked in and take a long time to change if change is needed. One of the ways culture has been defined is how we do things around here. We want to ensure that those characteristics are good and healthy and bring blessing. It's a way of exploring and potentially developing what we mean by one of our core areas of focus, that of building family. It also recognises that sometimes the way an individual or group acts can be unhelpful to others, even if that was not the intention. We want to build awareness of this and ensure that we have a culture where it is acceptable to say when we've been made to feel uncomfortable by something we believe to be inappropriate. It builds on our focus of, on safeguarding, where we put processes and provisions in place to try and ensure that people are safe when they are with us. And to extend this to ensuring that being part of our church family is a really healthy experience. We want to ensure that anyone who is invited to join us or who turns up on their own finds a healthy culture in which they can thrive. So it's something we believe is really important. We look forward to sharing it with you. Recognising that some of the subjects covered may raise difficult questions or emotions. If so, please do speak with one of us or, or someone else you trust so that we can support each other through this. Heather's going to outline the themes we'll be looking at over the next few weeks. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, Graham, and hi, everyone. I just wanted to start by reiterating how important this series will be in the life of the church. We take our cars for MOTs, we visit the dentist regularly, go to the doctors for a health check, and so opening up some of the scriptures that help us to reflect on the kind of church that Jesus died for and is coming back for is really important. So here are some of the topics that we're going to be looking into. This Sunday uh, will be an introduction to the series where we will explore in a family-friendly way um, that we're all different. God has blessed us with a diverse group of people at West Street, which brings challenges, but also immense blessing when we appreciate and recognise this. In the second week, we'll be reminded that we are a body with many parts. I'm sure no one would disagree with the notion that a healthy church respects, values and nurtures each other. But what does that really mean and look like in our contexts? Again, the title of the third week would be something you'd expect to find in most churches. But how do we as individuals engage with the Bible? What about the bits that bring challenging truth? And what if somebody interprets things differently than we do? Lots of great conversations to be had, I'm sure. The next week is healthy accountability. This is a phrase that you might have heard mentioned in church, and there are a number of passages in the Bible that commend accountability. But what is it? Why is it beneficial? And how could we develop this in the life of the church? Some of the questions we might need answers to. The following week, we have a break from our sermon series and we're going to be joining um, other churches from across our town in Queen's Park for the Love Crew Joint Service. Please put the 11th of June in your diary and, uh, and plan to join us. It's such a fantastic time together. 
So the next one um, is valuing the whole of life. What we do during the week is important, not just what we do on Sundays or when we're in church. This ties in with what we've been talking about in our focus day, where we considered where we put the church's resources. We believe a healthy culture looks like people equipped to live their lives as disciples of Jesus throughout the week and not just on a Sunday. Nurturing and nurtured leadership. This session is a particularly key topic for us as a church as we're asking God to guide us in the transition of leadership over the next couple of years. A healthy culture requires leaders across all our ministries to be cared for and encouraged, but where we can also challenge and question where necessary. Hopefully the wise and wonderful David King will be joining us to speak on this one. The next session is about guiding behaviour but respecting choices. In this topic, we learn from the master, Jesus, as we watch him engage with someone who eventually chooses to walk away. As disciple-making disciples, we need to learn this discernment and rely on the fruit of the Spirit that grows in us to be gentle and kind when people don't respond in the way we would want them to. The 9th of July brings another break to our sermon series as we are going to be having our Missions Sunday service. Uh, so please, again, put that in your diary as it's not one to be missed. And then finally, we finish with a family service that centres around inclusion. This is a crucial topic that could have a sermon series all to itself. And it might be that we continue with this in the new academic year. But it's only when we stop and think of others that we realise the stumbling blocks that the church might put in front of certain groups of people. Hopefully not intentionally, but we need to take time to consider how we do things if we really want to live out loving our neighbour. So we sincerely hope and pray that this series is one that you will find exciting to be part of, engaging and challenging as we journey together. Please do pray for those who will be preparing their talks in the next few weeks and pray that we as a church are ready and willing to be changed where necessary to be a people who allow the spirit to make us more like Jesus. Thank you for listening.